And it's like for us breathing for us, but I think for corp for uh, civil, you know other non-military folks don't really understand as, as well as we do. But we just do it so naturally because we're it's ingrained in our head. And some it's some it's basically part of our DNA. Yeah, the part about the crew resource is the crew. It's not one person. So working collaboratively to work to an end state. So I think a lot of folks think leaders in particular believe that I have to be the one who makes decision. I'm all knowing. I'm the smartest person in the room. Therefore, we'll do what I say. And I've never been a big I, me, my individual. I'm more of a we, are us, the crew aspect of that. And by getting as much, well, first off, any mission that would invoke a CRM has to be very clear on what the mission is. So when folks want to start managing RIF, they know what's the desired end state. And from that, they can massage and maneuver to get to that desired end state and take chances, if you will, or take risks as necessary to meet that mission. So with that clear mission, you can now take that when things change, you know what you know we need to get to the path because you've talked about it, trained to it, and you've been trusted to do it, and your your leadership's going to back you up. That's the key. If your leadership's going to back you up and uh, do something, you make a mistake, but you did it for the right reason. That's okay. That happens. I would tell folks that when I checked in with them, officers and chiefs, you know, make a mistake, at least try. Make it if you're doing it because you're doing it for the right reason. That's great. Now, learn from that. I'll respect you for at least trying. But if you make the same mistake twice, that's now a bad decision. That's another discussion. But uh, you'll make mistakes. At least you're trying. I'd rather have you do that than be that, you know, that chief that you've seen. Hides in the mess for three years. You know, they're just moving fast up the 